Okay, there's only one thing scarier right now than the stock market sell-off that's happening after really good inflation data, which is just crazy and wild, uh, but that's for a different video. The New York Times just released something crazy on uh, Kamala Harris, okay? The New York Times, just breaking news, released. The embattled Biden campaign is secretly testing Kamala Harris's strength versus Donald Trump. Okay, look at this. Under siege from fellow Democrats, President Biden's campaign is quietly testing the strength of Vice President Kamala Harris against Donald J. Trump. Uh, the Biden campaign says there's increased anxiety after the debate, but is not seeing a drastic shift in where the race stands. That's because they're being a little delusional. I'm reading this off of uh, the Reuters breaking. Uh, uh, we've got, uh, Biden campaign says there's increased things. Okay. We read that Biden campaign says internal data and public polling show the race remains within their margin of error in key battleground States. So they still think they have a chance. You know, this is sort of the continuation of like, we just need more time. Give us a chance. We can still recover. This is why we've kind of gone from, he's going to drop out right after the debate to maybe July 4th would be a good day. Maybe it's Friday. Maybe it's Monday. We need more time. We need more time. They, <coughs> excuse me. They keep kicking the can down the road. Uh, and, and it's really frustrating, but in my opinion, it's inevitable that he gets replaced. Now, I want to show you the predicted polling data, but one of the reasons I say that I think it's inevitable that he ends up getting replaced is he's not, he's not fully there anymore. We all know this. Please look at this. Just humor me for a moment. Look at the social awkwardness of this handshake. Ready for it? Here we go. We had a long conversation on the phone when you won. Give me your hand there, pal. And we are the best of allies, maybe in the whole world. My assumption here is Biden already shook his hand. They probably shook hands and sat down. Like, this, they already went through all these formalities. This already happened, right? That's my assumption. But Biden probably forgot. And so look at the individual's face. When Biden just sticks his hand out and floats his hand there for a moment, the guy's kind of like, dude, we, are, we already did this. We were supposed to like move into the next part on the script. Like you're messing up the play. Well, welcome. And, uh, it's good that we had a long conversation on the phone when you won. Give me your hand there, pal. And <laughs> the best of allies. It's, I, I shouldn't be laughing because it's sad. It's so sad. But this is not a president. This is not somebody who should be the representation of the country. But uh, my opinion aside, and I'm not trying to be anti-Democrat. You know, I know like AOC is all for, no, support Biden, support Biden. What? I don't care about AOC. I don't think AOC will ever do anything to go counter the party because she has no balls. Literally. Anyway, as Mr. Biden fights for his political future with high stakes, a, a high stakes news conference today. Oh yeah, two o'clock. I think it's two o'clock today. Let me see. You could just Google... Uh, White House, White House schedule, and then you get Joe Biden's schedule, uh, right here. Ah, 2.30. So I'll cover that live. 2.30 right here, President Holds Press Conference. That's gonna be make or break right there. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a little juicy doocy, just saying. Uh, so pay attention to that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's keep going here. So these are the predicted polls. As this New York Times article came out, you know, over the last couple days, Biden's actually been rising because everyone keeps saying, oh, he's going to stay in the race. But as the New York Times piece came out, Biden's odds just fell and Kamala's odds just surged again. And in fact, right now on the day, on the 24-hour chart, Kamala is uh, in the lead again, beating uh, Joe by about 10 cents. And then if we go to presidency... Uh, Donald Trump's still at about a 60% chance, sense, yeah, same thing. The survey, which, uh, which is being conducted this week and was commissioned by the Biden, this is new. They, it's not that they've been doing this. It's they just commissioned it this week. They're like, all right, let's start pulling data here. You know, they had their caucus meeting with, uh, with Democrats, uh, House Democrats a couple days ago. It was a disaster, a disaster. People described it literally who went there as if they were attending a funeral, it was that bad. Uh, this is believed to be the first time since the debate that Mr. Biden aides have sought to measure how the vice president would fare. Now, remember, I think Biden steps down, creates the first female president, and then you are 
voting for a potential incumbent, Kamala Harris, because she'll already have been president during the election, right? This is crazy. It, I'm telling you, it's, it, this, is, this is wild. It's almost as wild as the stock market crashing. Uh, but anyway, okay, that's for a different video. They did not specify why the survey was being conducted. We know why the survey was being conducted. Come on. Uh, Biden's odds of getting elected are uh, falling as fast as Tesla stock. The effort, which comes as a growing number of prominent lawmakers call for Biden to step aside or suggest he should reconsider his plans to run, indicates that his campaign may be preparing to wade into the debate that has consumed the Democratic Party behind closed doors. Whether Mr. Biden should step aside for VP. While some of Mr. Biden's top aides have quietly argued that Mrs. Harris could not win the election, donors and other outside supporters of the vice president believe she might be in a stronger position after the debate and could be a more energetic communicator of the party's message. Duh. <clears throat> in a memo to campaign staff on Thursday, Mr. Biden's campaign chair and his campaign manager wrote about the path ahead. Uh oh. In addition to what we believe is a clear pathway ahead for us, there is no indication that anyone else would outperform the president versus Trump, they wrote. Hypothetical polling of alternative nominees will always be unreliable, and surveys do not take into account the negative media environment that the Democratic nominee will encounter. The only Democratic candidate for whom this is already baked in is President Biden. Okay, this is, this is you know, still their continued defense of Biden. The memo appeared to acknowledge the erosion of support for Biden, uh, yeah, and that's likely to continue going. As the White House and the Biden campaign try to project a unified front, some of their supporters are engaged in a tough assessment of who should be at the top of the ticket. Mr. Biden's political future will be determined in part by his performance during the news conference today, which party lawmakers, officials, and donors have said they will closely monitor. It will be the longest unscripted appearance since the faltering debate performance two weeks ago. Yeah, we'll see how thick that notepad is that's coming. Ahead of the news conference, uh, some aides are being dispatched, whatever. Axios reported that Chuck Schumer signaled he's with Joe, or publicly said he's with Joe, but privately that he's open to a ticket not led by Biden. Here you go. It's starting. Same thing with Nancy Pelosi. I actually, I have to say, you know, a lot of, a lot of people hate on Nancy Pelosi. Uh, understandable. Totally understandable. I give her some cred, though, for being one of the first Democrats to actually have the cojones to say, you know what, we need to see if this is, uh, em you know, a, a condition, like a, a broader condition, or, you know, what's going on here, basically, uh, with Joe Biden. Is, is this just an episode, or is this a condition? So I respect her for that. I'm not saying I respect everything about Nancy Pelosi, okay? I'm not trying to pick sides here. I'm just saying. I, I don't have all the disclaimers. Sorry. I'm in finance. Finance is all about disclaimers. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Price goes up on the courses on building your wealth tomorrow. The House is a bulwark against authoritarianism and our insurance, polit insurance policy against Project 2025. Uh, see, but Trump kind of like hurt the Democrats on this a bit because the Democrats are like, oh, Trump wants Project 25, blah, 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 2025. And then Trump's like, I don't even know that. I don't know anything about that. That's not me. That's not my plan. I didn't write that plan. You're wrong. And now people are like, oh, uh, but, 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 but you agree with parts of it, don't you? What? What parts? I didn't read it. <laughs> it's like the perfect counter from Trump. Uh, he's pretty good at marketing. You got to give him that. President, I, I understand there are a lot of people who don't like Trump, uh, but even, even like never Trumpers, like my in-laws, they're like real big never Trumpers, okay? Um, which is fine. Uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But, uh, uh, you know, their POV is, uh, hey, uh, uh, one thing we'll give them. They, they say, we got to give the devil, what is it? What's the saying? Give give the devil its uh, their dues or whatever. I don't know. Whatever the saying is. It's, he's really good at marketing. That's their take. That's interesting. You know, usually I don't hear, like, never Trumpers, um, you know, say anything nice about Trump. But it's a good point. He is really good at marketing. President's team has felt bullish, uh, trying to silence the Democratic tickets. Any progress on moving past the debate was undone early on Wednesday when former Nancy Pelosi, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that Biden still had a still had a decision to make about whether or not he was running. Uh, yeah, Nancy Pelosi saying that nearly a week after he told Democratic governors that he's staying in the race. Well, he's got to put that face on, but it's, you know, fugazi. Nancy Pelosi delivered her message implying that Mr. Biden could reconsider his candidacy on Morning Joe. 
uh, the MSNBC show, Mr. Biden often wakes up to watch. It was the same program to which the president had phoned in for an interview on Monday to declare he was committed to running. Nancy Pelosi, Schumer, and Hakeem Jeffries, Democratic leaders, are seen as the three most influential figures. Yep, in the Democratic Party, for sure. Now, Nancy Pelosi is the boss of that party. Uh, she's, she's a boss, like her or not. She runs that show. I, who do you think runs the show? Who wears the pants? Nancy or Chuck? Leave a comment. <laughs> it gets obvious. It certainly ain't Harris. <laughs> does, it, does anybody think Nancy Pelosi would have a better shot at being president than Kamala Harris? I don't know. Probably not. You know, it doesn't solve the age problem. <laughs> Mrs. Harris says, be careful to demonstrate complete loyalty to Mr. Biden. But outside supporters of her candidacy have been quietly and carefully floating the idea she might be a stronger contender against Trump. This week, strategists and donors who were supportive of Ms. Harris circulated a presentation of polling assessing her strength with younger voters and showing that two out of three Democratic voters in battleground states supported the idea of Ms. Harris as a nominee where Mr. Biden had dropped out. In the event he had dropped out, right? Exactly. Shortly after the debate... Mr. Biden's campaign chair uh, met with a group of anti-Trump Republicans at a hotel near the White House. The meeting had been planned for weeks before the debate, but the two Biden advisors found themselves fielding pleas from some in the room that Mr. Dry Biden drop out uh, after his poor showing. Mr. Biden advisor said the conversation was a non-starter. Of course, that's what they're saying. Jen was clear the 2024 ticket is Biden and President Harris. Biden, Yeah, so all the Biden campaign folks are like, no, 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 Biden's in, Biden's in. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just a matter of time. I know it's taking more time, but I think it's coming. The writing's right here on the New York Times. <laughs> I just have to say on the wall. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If any of this stresses you out, make sure to get life insurance in those little five minutes. It's a paid promotion. Go to metkevin.com slash a life. Uh, and then if you want to join the... House of pleasure. Uh, make sure to uh, go to meetkevin.com. Go to meetkevin.com. And if you need a bundle coupon for the courses on building your wealth with the price going up tomorrow, make sure to email us email at... Email staff at suitac.com. Wrong email. Email this one. staff at meetkevin.com. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Stay alive. Good luck. Not advertise these things that you told us here. I feel like nobody else knows about this. We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Kevin Pafrath there, financial analyst and YouTuber. Meet Kevin. Always great to get your take. Even though I'm a licensed financial advisor, licensed real estate broker, and becoming a stockbroker, this video is not personalized advice for you. It is not tax, legal, or otherwise personalized advice tailored to you. This video provides generalized perspective, information, and commentary. Any third-party content I show shall not be deemed endorsed by me. This video is not and shall never be deemed reasonably sufficient information for the purposes of evaluating a security or investment decision. Any links or promoted products are either paid affiliations or products or services we may benefit from. I also personally operate an actively managed ETF. I may personally hold or otherwise hold long or short positions in various securities, potentially including those mentioned in this video. However, I have no relationship to any issuer other than HouseHack, nor am I presently acting as a market maker. Make sure if you're considering investing in HouseHack to always read the PPM at HouseHack.com.